You're now tuned in with the Up Next Lifestyle of Army Host Hill Next. And on that channel, I am to encourage all men while helping them to live better on a day to day basis, man. If you're new to the channel, please subscribe and smash the notification bell. Don't forget to like the video, comment down below, and let me know what you think. Follow my social medias, man. All links are down below. All right, guys, today we're going to talk about people not seeing you for the person you've changed to be. You know, when you first encounter someone, you you always hear the first Im, first impressions, man. First impressions. Say for instance, not even the first impression. This is a long lasting impression. Like maybe y'all were friends, maybe y'all were in a relationship, co-workers, whatever. You know, and y'all go without seeing each other in a long time. Most people have this certain impression on you. From who you were back then. And this is for the people that actually has made progress. Not the people that lie and fake progress. Act like they've done something. Act like they've changed. Even though they have been. They're the same person that they were. Or even worse. We're talking about the people that has actually changed their life around. And actually are doing better. And have a different perspective of life. For you guys. That are able to change and create their life different from what from from what your life was in the past people they, they they're not going to understand that they're not going to understand it for you guys that maybe was a simp or did all, everything for this girl whatever whatever you have you she's going to still see you as that simp that you were in, in the day back in the day or maybe you was a guy that always stole all the time or you was a female that always stole all the time, they're going to see you as that same thief as you was back in the day. People don't see growth in people. They just don't. People still think that you're this person. Maybe you was, maybe you were wild. Maybe you always party. You know, people, people still think of you as that. But you can't let that affect how the way you view yourself. You know the work you put in to change. You know what you've done to change into this person that you are today. You've matured. People will actually hate on you because you matured. They'll say, oh, you think you all that now? Oh, you think you change? You ain't changed. You the same person. People will still think you the same person from high school, maybe college. Not realizing that maybe at that time you were going through some things and you were acting out. See, they ain't going to see that. People ain't going to see your growth, man. That's why you can't do have growth for other people. That's why you got to do this thing for you. This thing called life, this is for you. And everything else is the byproduct of your life. You're the main character. This thing is yours. This is your life. So you can't be changing, growing consistently for other people. Because they're not going to see it. Whatever their perspective of, of what you were two years ago, three years ago, four years ago, five, ten, twenty years, whatever. They're still going to have the same perspective of you. Because that's the long last impression you left on them. That's, that's why it's never good to go back for relationships or anything or back for friendships. My homie said, you know, it was this girl that we were cool with. She hit him up. Tell him some man, uh, you know, we was friends around the college. I actually brought the girl around. Um, you know, got, I introduced all my friends and all that. And she got the trip and little situation happened. I had to kick out the group. Hey, vamoose. You know? So she as she hit him up uh, asking why we why we ain't well you know I, w I wish we could be friends I, I wish we could all just uh, have what we had back in the day and to be honest like we like my homie was like bro we don't, I don't even know if we could you be friends with you now or I could be be friends with you I'm different from back then see people don't understand that people still see that same image of you back then and now and you like bro I'm not even the same my mindset ain't even the same. Your mindset not even the same. 
but people will just dig people because most people most people know mature. Most people are stuck in their ways, man. I want you to know let you know that. That's why it's never good to go back, like I'm gonna say again. I'm to get to my point. Never good to go back, rekindle a friendship or a relationship. Because one of you both of y'all have y'all have changed a certain way, but one of y'all have has changed drastically more than the other one has. It always goes like that. So what's gonna happen is you gonna be y'all gonna get together and you'll be like, dang, this is why we wasn't together. This is why we can't last. You can't you can't go back, man. That's why it's always about forward thinking. Because when you're actually putting in the work, doing what you're doing to be better, you want a better mindset, better mentality. That mindset, that mentality that you had a few years ago, it's just not going to be that anymore. You're going to be past that. And so many people, so many other people are going to be still stuck there. That's why it's always good to meet new people, experience, experience new things. That's in the same type of realm of realm as you. Like Jeff Logan said on his podcast, he said, if you were to go back and do kindergarten, you would probably do kindergarten within two to three days. Maybe not two, three hours, actually. You can't go back and do kindergarten. You pass that. You experienced that. That's easy now. It's nothing. So what's the point of going back to kindergarten? What's the point of trying to rekindle this relationship? It didn't work out. The friendship didn't work out. You passed that. You grown. You in different rooms. You probably making more money. You probably able to do things that the other person can't do. So it's best to just leave it. Leave it be. Because all it's gonna do is just drag you down. It may drag you down and put you in a situation. Compromise situation that you want to be in. People ain't gonna understand this new you. They ain't gonna understand it. Like, who is this? You're dressing different. You're smelling different. You looking different. But I remember. But at the same time, you can. You they thinking that you putting all this stuff on, dressing it up. They think that you being fake. That's how people are gonna view you. They, they don't think that you're being fake. And then you just got all this stuff on, or you, you, your personality is this way. But nah, I know the real you. They know the real you. I remember when you was in the hood. I remember when you had bent up, bolded, uh, uh, messed up shoes on. I remember when you wasn't smelling that good. So that's all I can. That's all I can think of you as. Just that. That. Just that. Just that bottom. Just that bum. That's all they can think of you as. They think they they, they can steady. Uh, maybe that you was a person that got they they could get easily getting over on. They think they could still get over on you at, at this at, at this age. When you like, bro, you, that ain't gonna work. That ain't gonna work. So man, as you grow, most people not gonna understand it. Most people gonna think you're being fake. And it's best to grow because you because you're doing it to improve yourself and improve your new opportunities, man. People are not going to see it. The old people from the past are not going to see it. The only people that's going to really see it is your closest of close friends because they're ele they're elevating themselves or like minded individuals because they understand that they elevate. Most people are just going to think that you're still this person that you were. Years ago. And you're past that now. Stay past that, man. All right, if you like the video, please comment down below. Let me know what you think. Follow my social media. Subscribe. Smash the notification bell. I love y'all. Shalom.